southern Utah, remote and breathtaking, and the hard work of these students may keep it that way. You may remember this incredible landscape from our show last season in the Grand Staircase Escalante National Monument. That's paleontologist Alan Titus, and that's me, breaking a 75 million year old dinosaur bone. You broke it. It's okay. <laughs> I should not be allowed to touch the dinosaur. Here at Grand Staircase, we have a mandate to do research on public lands, everything from bees all the way up to these amazing dinosaur finds. Let's get planting! Students at Kanab High School are unearthing answers to a modern challenge, restoring a native plant called winter fat. Wow, that winter flat looks gorgeous, doesn't it? Yeah, this is good. That was, Wait, what's the that's a success right there. <laughs> They're using old-fashioned hard work and GPS technology taught by experts from the Bureau of Land Management. And you find your easting number, 365. So here's your 360, 361 line, 362. Yeah, right up there. Okay, so everybody's got point two ready to try and find it. My mission is to get as many kids as we can back outside. My name is Wade Parsons. I'm the education specialist for the Grand Staircase Escalante Partners. Uh, I believe over time we'll see a, a greater diversity of species on this plot as well. As an educator and as an archaeologist and as someone who's concerned about the natural environment, uh, one of the things I have noticed occurring is that our youth are getting further and further away from nature. Grand Staircase Partners, along with the BLM and the Captain Planet Foundation, make it possible for these kids to help restore the land. They started by gathering seeds from healthy winter fat plants, then growing about 100 new plants in their greenhouse. And we're putting them on the floor here. Bringing the orange one in here, Danica. Fence guy's there. Weeder's here. GPSers here. Where's the GPS? Planters here. One for you. One for you. Get rid of the weeds a little bit, right? Around it. And then you can kind of kick those out of the way. Dig me a good hole. Go about eight or ten inches deep. This is Indian rice grass. So this is a native. My name's Barbara Warner, and I am the natural resource science, medical anatomy and physiology, and biology teacher at Kanab High School. Winter fat is a, is a forage item. It's, cows love it, deer love it, primarily because it has salt in it. This is our experimental plot. So we have been working out here for four years. This time we have a really good crop of winter fat. We're bringing it out, we're putting it in this site, and then we will continue to be able to see what affects this native plant. But the cool part is they're actually observing nature. It's a horned lizard. And I just found it over there, just crawling around. I think it's adorable. It's just a lot of fun. You know, we talk about the scientific method a lot. You start with a, a problem. So the problem is, wow, the range is going down a bit. Um, we're having a drought, what do we do? Mm, what about those plants that don't really go down so much when there's drought? How about putting more of those back out in the range? that they have a better chance of survival, like if they have longer roots, they'll survive better in the desert, and that's something I learned. I'm taking GPS locations of these plants, and then we record them so we can know which ones survive and which ones don't over the next couple years. It's kind of become almost a reward to be able to plant them today after we've put so much work in the greenhouse. When I'm learning something in a classroom off of a PowerPoint or a book, it's easy for me to just memorize it for the test and then I forget it later. But when we come out here, it's something that you can remember and apply it to what you do. These small number of plants, does it make a difference? Absolutely. We've had a hard time establishing winter fat on these grazing areas. It used to be pretty bare. <laughs> and uh, these little plants are helping us recover the ecosystem that will allow us to do sustainable grazing on this land for generations to come. Public lands are outdoor laboratories where people can come do research for themselves to learn about these areas, or also they can combine it with universities or with government agencies. I'm Roger Cole, I'm 
the uh, executive director for the Grand Staircase Escalante Partners. What we provide are staff to work at those programs, and also we provide some independent dollars, like from Captain Planet, that helps us provide those programs to purchase seeds, to purchase equipment, and the expertise we need is really quite exciting. They did a really good job. I think it just goes to show that if you give them a task to do and tell them that they can do a great job and you give them a little direction, sometimes they will totally surprise you. And that is the best. 